Welcome back. Oh? <laughs> There's a new James Moon Bond Raker? game. And who expected Moonraker to be oh. a part of a James Bond game? Mm. Well, it was part of Goldeneye. One of the, uh, it was a bonus mission if you beat the game on uh, really hard. This is a, this is a six mission game where every mission is based on a movie. Oh, my God, oh. God. And really? it's going to tie all of them together in the story. In addition to that, Daniel to a Craig's kill. likeness to a kill. and voice is in it. Nice. So take all of those stories and plant, take out Sean Connery and, and, and Ron Timothy Burgundy, Dalton, Timothy Roger and Moore. And, no, no, no. <laughs> all Timothy Dalton. And just put it, yeah, put in Daniel Craig. That's awesome. It looks like a yeah, double, it looks like a golden eye in October. Yeah. Yeah. Hooray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's fucking cool. That's a really cool idea. That's a really cool idea. So, three missions have been announced, and don't say anything, guys. We're gonna uh, uh, look at the other two in a second here. 007 Legends. Hmm? What a yep. good idea. Yeah, it's a damn good idea. So, uh, Bloodstone didn't go over that well. Oh, Remember no? Remember in 2009, we were yeah, thinking yeah, yeah, of yeah. playing it? Yeah. They've got like seven, 60s to 70s. Mm. Too bad. Oh, nice. There hasn't been a Bond game since then, besides Goldeneye. So this is on Her Majesty's Secret Service, Mission 2. I never saw it. Is that a Roger Moore? Roger Moore. It was Roger Moore? I think so. So are we going to watch all We're these We're going to have to at least watch the ones that are in the game, I guess. Woo! Guess we'll have to suffer and watch some Bond games. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and of course, like, uh, Bond. Um, that's oh, that was, uh... That tip when he went to the Talazmi movie, I guess. Was it? Yeah, the one he did. Oh, really? Oh. Um, what I like about Bond and the franchise is that he can be transplanted into any era and the story can be updated. Yeah. For any, like, and it seems natural. Yeah, that's true. It would be, so those are the first two. You, you play Moonraker, then you play that one. They're, they're kind of releasing them in order, except. They've released the last one that you'll be playing. That's all? That They've only now. released Here's three Here's the last six? one you play. Yeah. Country. <laughs> England. The last oh, mission, nice. I'm not joking, Game. the last mission is based Shot. on the new movie. Agent. Really? Skyfall. And I know Ben's been watching Murder. waiting to see this. Employment. Skyfall. He was doing Roy Association. Skyfall. Those eyes. Done. From what I've gathered, Skyfall was like his worst mission. Kind of like... Uh. Yeah, it's gonna be like the most badass. And I forget, is this the oh. Royale director back? Fuck. What? Had the uh, original Bond car. Right oh, there. nice. <laughs> Is the, the Casino Royale guy back? I thought you told me. I don't know. What is it? No, is, it's, a new, it's, it's a, a new guy. It's a new guy. Oh, yeah. He's and barely he, done anything. In true, well, he's done some stuff, but nothing like this. Nothing like this, yeah. yeah. In true Bond style, oh, they he choose did. like a basic... Uh, American Beauty? Am I right? What? Tell oh, me if that's... I'm right, chat. I can't remember. Some men are coming Sam to kill Sam Mendes. Okay. I'm gonna kill him first. So that's the teaser. I'm the biggest James Bond sucker. Yeah, it looks awesome. We'll watch that that one more time. So yeah, last mission in the game will be Skyfall, which is pretty Country. cool. Country. England. I have a thing. Gun. Shot. Agent. Here you go, buddy. Provocateur. Thanks. Murder. Employment. <laughs> Skyfall. Skyfall. Skyler Fall? Done. <laughs> Sky. I love it when people look into two A Wham, wham. Right? Into the yeah. two A yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I don't do that. Yeah. So, it just made 
made me kind of think too is like I would like to see a. Uh, <laughs> Wait a Joker. minute. Yeah, totally right. <laughs> Heath, you're back. It's kind of weird because sometimes this looks like it's been set. Period. But mm. it's not. These are modern weapons and yeah. stuff. But I would love to see. As much as I said that I, I admire that they can transplant them to any era and update the story, I would like to see a, a th like a one that kind of throws back. Throws back? back like cool. goes back and uses that would old be weapons. Really and, cool. Yeah. They'd have to do it very right. Yeah. And it would, yeah. Like, they would. It's an interesting franchise because it seems to like go through these times where it sucks. Yeah. Was the eighties a shitty time it. for it? It was hit and miss. I was it always like, super minutes. not into yeah. it when I was a kid. Bond well, they're really long. Miss. A lot, they, a lot of the older ones are very long. Very long. And they're not a bit always darker. exciting. Two yeah. of the adult huh. ones were kind of dark. He was more of a dick. And he was very tongue in cheek too. Oh no, Timothy Dalton, different yeah. guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna check out uh, a live action trailer for a game we've already we already know is coming. Nice. Dark Siders Two. Eyes of God. We've been judged. Oh, nice. And we've been found guilty. Yeah, that guy. Death awaits us all, just as revelations proclaimed it was. <laughs> And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw and beheld a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. And Hell followed with him. McFoley? But the thing is, he's not a bad guy. You're kind of a good guy when you play as the horse. I think that's just a video game. Yeah. No, that's what I mean, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they're making him out to be like, I think he's a badass. Like, kind of, His wrath has come. I think there's collateral damage where he goes, but in general, he's like, if you were to compare him and Kratos. There, I think that was just him killing it back. I think. Um, it was just ketchup. Apparently, uh, I, I I know that kind of from looking at the trailers, he was set up. Uh, or war was set up by some other guys, mm. and death is here to avenge him. Kind of. Are we gonna play the first one? Oh, geez. Yeah. don't go in there. Let's take a look at them. Um, it's funny that they show blood here because the game seems to have very little blood. Oh, really? Yeah. The other trailer had a shit ton of blood in it, Did too. It? Yeah. Because when I've been seeing clips of the game, it looks like it's it's more like black blood. Mm. Like, too. yeah. Bad monster Pre blood and stuff. Stop yeah, the there's like edition. one part in the other trailer where he like, you see the front of one of the bad guys and he like slices through him and oh, he yeah. falls apart and all his blood comes out and stuff. What's it rated, guys? Is it M? Anyways, here's a trailer for, uh, you probably wouldn't expect, it's for a tactics game. It's a badass live action trailer for a tactics, tactical warfighter. It. It's for total war. <laughs> Wait, total War Rome 2. It's something I'm probably going to stay the shit away from because, like, yeah. When I look at footage of the game, I'm like, I'm not gonna like this. And when I think that, that's the exact kind of game yeah. I should stay away from. Because I end up getting addicted. It's another series you guys need to watch. Yeah, Rome. <gasps> Puppy. Yeah, 
the music was really good on this. Badass lady. So I, I, I might gather together some um, cinematics from the Total War games sometime, because it's a really good looking game, and show them to you. But for now, just leave us with this. It certainly whets your appetite. They yeah. are kind of famous for scenarios, like replaying scenarios, like one of the ones they've, I know that they've been showing is the uh, Siege of Carthage. Oh, really? And stuff. Um, so it's really historical. Yeah. That's cool. But I think there's also random scenarios, too, that you can have, like, made-up ones, like... That says 2013. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can tell. Pincer movement. Another live Red action. represents the Romans' kind of troops. Blue Hannibal's. When the Romans attacked, Hannibal's cavalry galloped in from behind. The Romans were completely oh, surrounded. Man. Rome? Yeah, How do we totally, apply I this? totally transitioned this on purpose. This is a preview trailer. Enemy lines. I'll, I'll actually wait for the name drop trope. Attack from the rear. I'll wait for the name drop trope. In this Attack trip. from the rear. No, that's not the name of the game. <laughs> Attack from the rear. Attack. You're gonna get us all killed. They're my orders. I don't care. Axios! You ignored orders. It's just wait for the name drop. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> this Those academy represents honor. It's Halo. Halo Four. Valor. This. Allegiance. I am Halo, bro. <laughs> That's why I wanted you to wait. You Halo, Halo bro? bro? <laughs> yes, it's the perfect drop for the name. Halo, bro. Where is oh, it? I think he actually said hello, bro. <laughs> Toad sounds Halo, like bro. Halo, bro. Yeah. Brew me a Halo, bro, Star. Halo, bro. Halo, bro. Halo, bro. Halo, bro. You too. You are I anything did say hello, bro. All right. Comments no way. It's Halo. <laughs> Halo, bro. When we first arrived, hate this place. So anyways, what you're seeing isn't just a live action trailer. This is actually a preview for a five episode series that's going out on Machinima oh, no to promote really? the game. Really? Yeah. There's a soldier inside it's of your It's going to tell the story of an academy, I guess some academy you recruits kind of get it. you uh, a human element to what apply to the to the world around you. So oh. Master Chief's a frat boy? I can place next to the academy. <laughs> And she's a wardrobe. I want to rip her lips off. This is grab them. They're just sticking out. Tug. They're pretty big lips. Reel those things in. What the hell are those things? Go. Uh oh, they're getting attacked. They don't know what's going on. Hero! Master Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> That's nice. nice. Thank you. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Stay close to me. <laughs> That's actually what he said. <laughs> uh, that was pretty impressive. Want actually. to see it again though? Yes. With my head? I think it's better. Stay close. Wait. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> I think it's better. Uh, Stay close to me. Yeah. I have your best chance for survival. That doesn't sound good. Not as much of a presence. Yeah, like, stay close to me. I'm your best chance to, for survival. Come with me if you want to live. Yeah. It it's sums concise. it up. It's way more concise, mm -hmm. and it says the same thing. Blam, blam, blam. Mayday, mayday. Forward unto dawn. Immediate evac. One one seven. Play it again, please. Play it again, Sam. For the past two decades, <laughs> Sid Meier's civilization Halo franchise has of been them under... driving the warthog, and he's like, "You're telling me I have to look where I want to drive? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense." Okay, fine. Uh, over uh, there, please. Uh, All right, over there now. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, uh, speaking of Total War. Like I said, I didn't include footage of Total War. I will at some point, though, because it's really gorgeous. And I, but I want to learn more about it before I can talk with, about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, was, I found this, which speaks to my addiction of these types of games. 
Started civilization as a PC strategy game Maybe ever created, marked by its hyper addictive turn based gameplay. Civ allows players to create or conquer the world's greatest empires from the Stone Age to the Space Age. Now, Civilization V arrives with a PC with an immersive 3D environment, sleek hex grid game map, emotive leaders, extensive user mod ability, and a staggering list yeah. of upgrades and features. We'll, we'll so, we must show, once again actually. question Is it possible for a game to be too addictive? If you ask these Civilization players and their loved ones, the answer is yes. When he had it bad, he'd play 120, 130 turns at a time. Days, nights, all the time. The new hex grid 3D environment was so I much, I just couldn't stop myself. I'd er erect a uh, madrasa in Mecca. I'd erect a forum in Rome. I'd erect an Odeon in Athens. I'd erect a shale plant in Tokyo. That's too many erections. That's too many erections. <laughs> and once again to Sivanon, a 12-step support group for the most uh, hardened Civ addicts. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, Theirs is a world where gameplay and reality blur together to such a degree that in-game relationships and real-life relationships have become indecipherably one and the same. No more turns. No more turns. Oh, goddamn Montezuma. You push and you push and you push, and then you push too far. And then I have to rain ICBMs on your Aztec arse. Come on, come on, Montezuma. Get some. <laughs> That's what you get when you f with that now. Civilization addiction <laughs> can afflict anyone. It's no longer just a game for the hardcore god game crowd. I need you. In many cases, a seemingly innocent iPhone app can be a dangerous gateway game to a more powerful fix that only a full-blown PC you know that version no like Civilization V like can deliver. You by Genghis? <laughs> with me, it's just an all-consuming addiction. We'd be sharing an intimate moment, and in my head, I'd be plotting new trade routes to Europe or figuring a way to get native land at a discount on my, my console, on my handheld, <laughs> iPhone, iPad, PC. My real life just didn't matter to me anymore. Six months! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a junkie. And I just want to be able to break this addiction so I can go home and live my life with my wife and our two beautiful children. We have three children. <laughs> <laughs> Word on the street is that the all new so Civilization well. 5 yeah. may well be the most addictive PC game ever. So if you think this will never happen to you, <laughs> I feel ashamed. You, see you this? better think again. You see this? Well, thank you for letting I'm me gonna share. I'm going to play Civ after this. I had to Rob's not play for two days Rob. getting this ready. Uh, hey, folks, my name is, is Rob. Hi. Hi. Uh, and I'm a Civilization junkie. Uh, but I'm proud to announce that today is my Civ Free six month anniversary. Thank you. Hey, did you guys hear they're coming out with a new Civilization Facebook game? <laughs> um. Oh, now, I think we, we should address more this more people are moving away from the television. real quick. There's a lot of focus today on the mobile and web. Okay, so you probably heard about this. It's easier to develop uh, games for yeah. those platforms for the television. It costs mm, yeah. a lot of money. You have to work with established players in the space. And I've been trying to figure out how Let's to get them back to it. Ouya is a new game console for the television that's built on Android, open source technology. It's an inexpensive game console for gamers. All the games are free to try. Anybody that wants to develop a game for a television, we allow them the ability to do this. I've been a part of the game industry for a really long time. In the early right days now. of gaming, you could take your Apple IIe, write your own programming, and, and take your game to market. The console business as it is today is completely closed to the independent developer. The process of writing for console <laughs> development is really just too much for us. There's a lot of hurdles it for developers to It might be difficult. It's not completely games closed. That's for damn developing. sure. Is extremely expensive. I love the television and I want those games on the television. We wanted to make a great product. I went out to find the best people that can do it, and that's Eve Behar and the Fuse Project. Over the years, we've worked on a lot of projects that take a certain technology and make it available to, to many. I mean, the $100 yeah. laptop is one, and the Jambox, for example. We like to use all the different parts of design, you know, fuse them together, whether it's so, okay, all right. design Anyways, or user experience. They put Most this up on this Kickstarter to get, like, it's supposed to be, like, an independent, an indie game console. That you what makes it different? That is hackable, hackable because it's open source because it's based on Android. Android's on Android phones that try to compete with Apple, um, and they 
they put up for an eighty thousand dollar limit or like I mean goal mm. within like half a week they got to five million yeah five million dollars raised they set all Kickstarter records beating Tim Schafer and making him cry and the idea is that it's kind of what people have been speculating would happen with the Apple TV apps on your TV because these are like these are not <laughs> They say, they keep on saying that they want to open it up to hardcore games and like have hardcore games uh, on the platform. But they released... It was 950k? Okay, okay, all right. Oh yeah, 80,000 was their initial run of them. They're going to oh, make okay. 80,000 okay. and they, they wanted to reach 950,000. All right, thanks for the correction. Uh, anyways. And this product will not happen without their support. And when we raise this money, it means that we have arrived, that there is a need for an open game console. The idea then, anyways, is basically what everybody's expecting like. Apple would do, is start putting apps world, from the App Store wonderful. onto the TV, games on the TV, yeah. maybe come up with a controller or use the, uh, the iPad as a controller. Um, but I'm gonna, I, I'm, I can't not be cynical about this, because first of all, they marketed themselves as an indie game console then slowly as they raised more money they started to to reveal that they had like these huge names behind them like these huge yeah. tech industry people who have like millions of dollars behind their names that aren't investing that are just behind it it's like huh. it almost seems as though the project and i'm speculating i have no information that says this but i just feel as though all of these people were going to make it they were going to say, let's make this thing. It could, you know, fill a niche market. It's only a $100 console. Um, it'll be like something that plays Netflix too and all that. It, it's basically, it's more like an Apple TV competitor, I would say, once Apple TV has games. And then they said, no, wait, look at Kickstarter nowadays. This is a great way, not only to raise money, not that we need it, but a great way to get publicity. And, uh, and, and it was because the hype is everywhere. Mm -hmm. really? And here's the, the biggest punctuation on my cynicism it's as, it's about as powerful roughly as an as an uh, ipad <laughs> it's a games console that is as powerful as an ipad it has like a gig of ram why like i don't know ram yeah. isn't that expensive yeah. bump it up a little bit yeah uh anyways the actual specs i don't know if they're set in stone but they've been putting out some preliminary stuff i've ordered one we'll check it out on the show but guys i i don't just don't ride the hype train on this thing. Wait until it comes out because the creator of the Kindle is their CEO now. Oh, just really? Just, if you want to fit, it, like everybody, it, it kind of gets rid of that entire feeling that they're indie. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is indie? Who fucking knows? People but are agreeing with you. I'm glad that some here. people are agreeing yeah. with me then because uh, I I knew that I don't know that it's our type of people that are are running the hype train. It feels like it's more like. Like, this thing is all over, like, the New York Times and, like, everywhere. That's, like, yeah. when we were at the, the that thing yeah, on the yeah, weekend, yeah, people yeah. were talking about it. It's, like, people who aren't necessarily dedicated to reading gaming blogs know about this. Yeah. And that's what makes it, like, a big deal, I guess. Hmm. And plus, Kickstarter. You just say the name Kickstarter to a guy with money, and he's like, hmm, that sounds like you can make some money. I heard that fat guy in, in San Francisco made a lot of money for his adventure game. Uh, so, anyways. Huh. That's kind of my rant. There's quite a lot of agreement. It's not 100% informed rant. It just is this feeling and this kind of distaste that has come from every day, being a backer of the project, every day getting these emails saying, we'd like to introduce to you now this person who has also been behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, they were behind the scenes. Thanks for not mm -hmm. introducing them to us at the very beginning when you wanted it to make it look like you were five people making a game console. All right, done. <laughs> Here's something a little bit more genuine feeling. Recognize that music? Yeah. yeah. Bad dude. I was gonna say it, but I wasn't confident. Hi, my name is Joe Majaleski, head dude of the recent Strike Games. Bad Our final dude goal was to put two together a team of industry experienced developers. He's being created and is on Kickstarter. On Go check out his Kickstarter pit. Just Google the Bad Dudes 2. You'll is a find it. To 1988's um, point out classic Bad Dudes. He has a Bad Dudes a cabinet, cabinet in his house. He's a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> now, so immediately one asks, are they the company that made Bad Dudes? Yes. Are they? They are. They are. Small cult following over the years. They're not for a Data East. Reasons. Data East actually sold the rights to a Japanese company. I forget the name of it. Uh, 
And they have, before they even started the Kickstarter, the did nail down, they locked down the rights to it. They have the right oh, really? to make Bad Dudes 2. Bad Dudes 2. Sweet. Uh, bad dudes two. So they're is looking for, I forget what their goal is. The two original dudes, Maybe it's these guys whose goal was 80,000. But they want to get like a small studio. That's that's a very low low amount for like a, a gaming studio to... to, to to come together, and they say that a when large portion of it goes again, to the licensing. the U.S. has nowhere else to turn, yeah, the bad dudes must come out of retirement and deliver with them a fast-paced action game with a fluid new combat system, tons of droppable weapons, and new and returning enemies. Are they going to rescue In the Obama? 23 years since they were last well, active, <laughs> Blade and Striker have changed quite a bit. When given is, the opportunity to work on a bad like it, sequel, it, the first thing I decided as lead time designer has was that these two characters need a complete like visual our actual role. Time. As fans they already are know, older. They're 20 Blade years and Striker were pretty much visually identical. Um, and the they did effects, say that the president have. will be in it, but it will be a character based on the current the president. They didn't say Obama. Nice. This, if, if Obama doesn't win the election, they might debut. I don't know what the release date is, is spec uh, expected. But He's it mean, might be still got his full head of hair. King Romney, who knows? If you, you might remember, um, early which actually would be interesting that if it was Romney, because the original was Ronnie. Bad dudes too. They actually yeah, called right. it <laughs> President <laughs> Ronnie <laughs> has been kidnapped <laughs> back then. <laughs> they changed the, the American release because they didn't want to include any politics in the game, so they got rid of the name of the president. Another way of keeping it visually different was to make but, the two uh, characters bald from their age. Naturally, it seemed yeah. like to just make the guy bald. <laughs> he we bounced around some bald. different baldness ideas, completely bald, horseshoe bald, and then eventually settled on giving him a bandana to go over his balding <laughs> head. And signature so this is just concept art. That's um, so cool. I think initially they were going to do cartoon style, but the overwhelming, like, and this is this is how Kickstarter really works, right? That comments were saying, please just make it pixelated like the old game, and they said, okay, they're making it pixelated. It's going to be... It's more Bad based on the uh, online, the arcade version than it is the arcade NES campaign, version. Okay. It's way the arcade game. version had co-op. Of course and it Mac. should have co-op, right? Yeah, totally. Watch. The NES based version had single player. Because as I was watching Bad this, they're talking, he kept on going on about co-op. It's going to be co-op and it's going to be awesome. I'm like, why the hell didn't we do two players yeah. on our episode of AVG that we did. And then I, I looked it up and I was like, yeah, it doesn't have co-op, no wonder. <laughs> so they stripped it out of the NES version. We should try to play, of course we can't get an arcade cabinet, we'd have to run an emulator, but we should play co-op bad dudes. Yeah, dude. We'll try and get past the second level. Yeah. Beta testers will also have access to a special forum where they can discuss the beta and give us their feedback. Of the 80,000 goal, the they only have 4K of the 80,000 goal with 18 period. days to go. Guys, oh. go go donate. Get on this project. This they deserve it. This includes various licensing, software, and hardware fees. It also includes labor costs oh, and a bit of a financial buffer for it. Kickstarter fees and any unforeseen development hurdles that we might come across. Bad Dudes was a fun and hilarious game, and we intend to make Bad Dudes 2 excellent in the same manner, but we can't do it without People you. Already if you like the idea, be sure to pledge. Sweet. And if you can't, even just sending the video to your friends or posting it on your social media sites Mally, can go a yeah, long Mally, way to helping it. us out. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Oh, wait a second. We, just, we got a donor. Right, good. About our plans for Bad Dudes too. If you are watching, I don't know. I think that just shows real. I don't know. Gumption to go out, get the fucking rights, be like. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. You know, these aren't guys. That oh, the official say, rights is incredible. Man, wouldn't it kick ass if they made a bad dudes sequel? Never happened, dude. The, the, they're not gonna make that franchise again. They're like, well, let's call them. Mm -hmm. After 23 years, it's time to bring Blade and Strike out of retirement. Are you a bad enough dude to fund this project? Sweet. <laughs> so, save That's the president fun. and then go get a burger with them. But only if you fund it. They need to reach 80,000, which is. Total pittance, but they just need to. They've hit the blog circuit. I'm surprised they haven't raised more than 4K. Yeah, man. They deserve it. So, uh, all right, when we come back, more Video Games Awesome Live show and trailer continues. Zoom, zoom.